I'm going to again skip through. We're almost we're running a little long on time and but one of the things I wanted to point out in here is that you got back, you're going through, you're in the hospital, you're going through some of your recovery and you get asked to talk a bunch. Hey, can you come talk to this group, talk to that group and you're saying, "No, I don't want to talk to you. Don't want to talk to anybody. Don't want to talk to anybody." And finally you get asked one more time, and I'll go to the book. I just want to ask you please to consider one last time. This group is the Bataan Corregidor Survivors Association, and they really want one of the returned Vietnam POWs to talk to them at their gathering tonight. You're the only one still here. I was blown away. Wait a minute. These are POWs who survived the Bataan Death March in World War II, and they want to hear about me after what they've been through? And of course, you agree to do it. And this is the part that I wanted, especially the vets, because a lot of vets listen to this. By giving me an opportunity I couldn't refuse, they made me come out of my shell and speak publicly about what I'd been through. They opened the door to what would become the greatest therapy possible to help me deal with all that had happened to me. Many of my friends who have not been able to talk about what had happened to them have not readjusted well. Several still have major psychological issues haunting them. A couple of days later, I got an invitation to speak to a high school assembly, which I accepted. In the weeks and months ahead, I'd be asked to talk to various groups, and I agreed to do as many as I could. I strongly believe that the opportunity to share my experience has been one of the principal reasons I've been able to readjust and deal with life as well as I have. That, coupled with my faith in God, love of family, and my inherently optimistic nature. Yes, yes, yes. I can't. That is probably the greatest bit of advice that comes out of this book. I mean, I came back. I, I didn't want to talk to anybody. I didn't think anybody could understand what I, what I had to say. And I think many vets have the same feeling. Uh, you know, just leave me alone. I will get through this. And plus, you, you don't know what, I, what I've experienced. And you can't understand if I try to tell you about it. First of all, they can understand to a degree. No one will ever be able to understand everything that you've been through. But they can understand to a degree. And they do want to listen. Okay, that's the receiving end. For you to be able to share your experience, and for me over the years to share my experience again and again and again, and even to, to write this book, as painful as that process was, uh, is a therapeutic process. It's a healing process to be able to talk about what you've experienced. And if you think you have demons in your mind, share those demons too. Talk about it. It, it, it certainly has helped me. I, I'm... I'm doing well. I've been through a lot. I'm doing well. And I think a huge part of that reason is is thank you, survivors of Botanic Corregidor, because I couldn't say no to you. And by doing that, I, it got me started talking about my experience. Totally agree. I totally agree. It's a, a beautiful advice. 